This past week, UTC shined a light on Beyonce with Lemonade Week. We have an inside look. See a different twist on a job fair for students. And YouTube's new TV streaming service may affect our own newscast upload. We'll show you how. I'm Emily Willis. And I'm Shane Perry. Your news starts now. Russian President Vladimir Putin denounced the strike on a Syrian airfield as an act of aggression and said it violated international law. Western leaders backed the U.S. action, saying Syrian President Bashar al-Assad had brought it on himself. Fifty-nine Tomahawk cruise missiles were launched from the U.S. warships in the eastern Mediterranean. The missiles were directed at an airfield believed to be in base for the warplanes that carried out the chemical attack. The Senate confirms President Donald Trump's pick for the Supreme Court. After Republicans triggered the nuclear option, 49-year-old Neil Gorsuch got the required 51 votes to become the ninth Supreme Court Justice. The court had been operating with only eight justices since the sudden death of Antonin Scalia. The walls aren't coming down just yet on a downtown Chattanooga restaurant that collapsed last week. Demolition was supposed to start at the Market Street building that once housed Cheeburger Cheeburger restaurant. But the demolition was postponed because of a dis dispute between the owner of the building and the tenants. The front of the restaurant fell last week after the tenants closed it the night before. Police have arrested a UTC student for threatening another at a UTC apartment. The incident happened April 3rd. Police say two roommates argued at the, at the DeCosimo apartments. One threatened the other with a knife. Police say the suspect fled the scene and was later arrested by officers. It's official. You don't pay your parking ticket and you're getting the boot. Beginning this summer, parking services will immobilize any vehicles that owe $50 or more in parking citations. If you are booted, you have to pay the citation amount plus a $20 fee before the boot will be removed. Interviewing for a job can be nerve-wracking. Experts say it can be nearly impossible for people with autism. But people at the Disability Resource Center found a way to overcome that. Brianna White takes us to a reverse job fair. The MOSC program hosted its second annual reverse career fair at the University of Chattanooga, Tennessee's University Center. Students with autism spectrum disorders had the opportunity to showcase their strengths to local businesses and organizations for possible internships or job opportunities. Experts say many individuals with ASD are overlooked by companies and organizations. This reverse career fair helps students with this disorder to connect with potential employers from corporations and other parts of the university. I find it a lot easier to be approached by somebody who's uh, interested in me rather than knowing um, or rather than trying to approach somebody who may not even be interested in my major. Employers had the opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with students they found interesting. It creates a more manageable experience for, pe for students on the autism spectrum. Um, it also allows employers to sort of focus in on students that they're interested in meeting with. ASD students got a chance to sell themselves at this event. At other fairs, they compete with a lot of students who are potential candidates. This event showed that people with autism are just as capable for a professional job as people without a disorder. Here's information about the Mosaic program. It's designed to help students with autism better cope with student life. The program has elevated UTC to one of the top 20 colleges who work with students who have autism. The Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences is a finalist for another college's president's job. Dean Jeff Elwell is a finalist for the post of president of Southern Illinois University. Last week, we reported that Elwell was a finalist for president of Eastern New Mexico University. He had his on-campus interview there last week. Blood Anuga returned to our campus. The semi-annual event taps into our generous mock spirit to replenish the local blood supply. 
Blood Assurance is set up in the Tennessee Room, giving out ball caps and Chick-fil-A to donors. Ready to catch the groove? On Monday, the UTC Percussion Ensemble will present Catch the Groove, a percussion concert. The concert is at 7.30 p.m. at the Roland Hayes Concert Hall. No charge for admission. It's been a little cooler recently. It has, but it's going to get warmer. Looks like we'll finally be escaping these April showers next week. The warm weather will return on Saturday with temperatures returning to the upper 60s and lower 70s. On Monday, you can even expect temperatures to warm up to the lower 80s. There will be a few clouds Monday and Tuesday, but chances of showers are low. You can expect it to be sunny and in the 70s for the weekdays. However, scattered storms might begin to creep in on Good Friday and Saturday. If you're traveling home Friday, be sure to keep an eye on the weather. Also, starting tonight and tomorrow morning, Jupiter will be closest to the Earth for the first time in 18 months. You will be able to see the big planet shine better than ever tonight with a pair of binoculars, and you might even be able to see its big red spot. UTC hosted the Right to Move, an event to let people get together and learn some of the choreography to formation from Beyonce's album Lemonade and an end to Lemonade Week. James Arnett speaks to us about what that was about. To make sure that we had something that got people moving and got people attending to Beyonce in the way that Beyonce needs to be attended to, which is through dance, right? Arnett lectured about issues while the dancers warmed up. We're also exercising our ability to get woke, right? To collect knowledge, to learn from the. Here's the finished choreography. YouTube has announced YouTube TV. It is a new subscription-based streaming service that allows you to stream live TV from ABC, CBS, Fox, NBC, and other popular cable networks. You can record shows to cloud DVR system with no storage limits, stream your library wherever you go, and record all your shows simultaneously. The service also comes with six accounts. Everyone gets their own login and personal DVR library. The cost is $35 a month. That does it for this edition of Mox News. Thank you for joining us. Check out our videos uploaded throughout the week to YouTube, and don't forget to subscribe. We air on the UTC TV Housing Channel 2.1. So tune in and have a great weekend from all of us here at Mox News.